Hey, what's up? Hello and welcome. My name is Maya and today we have an episode of Not So Berry. And before we get started, I want to say that I am extremely nervous to play this episode because we got the notification that Araminta is going to die because it's her last few days. So yeah, it's going to be a sad one. I'm so, so, so sad already. I don't want Araminta to go, but yeah, we just have to rip the bandaid off and hit play. I don't think she's going to die in the beginning of the episode though. So I think we're fine right now. She's talking to Cherry. Um, and she's sharing her insecurities because, of course, Araminta's jealous because she's a jealous sim. And it's hard being away from Tanza. I think we might invite Tanza over now. I was going to wait until the party because we are going to have a party this episode. But she misses her husband, so let's invite him to hang out because it's her last few days, which means it's probably his last few days as well. And they should spend it together. I was going to say, Sunny finally taking Blossom on a walk because I asked her like seven times, but finally she's doing it. Um, Sunny has been feeling so much happier being here in the city. Like, no, she doesn't want to be around people, but she loves that like her mom, Araminta is here with her um, and it's making her feel a little comfortable. She's realizing she loves working out, having a gym in the house, um, which is necessary for the rocket science or not rocket science, astronaut career. Let's ask um, Blossom, can we, can we stop running and ask Blossom if Blossom can go to the bathroom? Having a dog in the city is so hard. <laughs> it's so hard. Oh, and yeah, this is why we're having a party. It's because it's Taylor and uh, Cherry's birthday today. They are both going to be an adult, so that's exciting. Can we not ask to use the potty? Why not? Wait, let's unleash. Maybe it's because you're leashed, but that would be the reason to go to the bathroom. No. Yeah, all right. Ask to go. Oh, you are going. All right, good. Let's give you a treat. Good baby. Um, She's going. Or I was going to say, are you going home? Because mm -mm. we need to pick you up. Are you feeling flirty up here? Oh, I think I that was the I hope they didn't do anything romantic with each other because that would be so weird. Um, but I think it's because Taylor's here and she's a pretty girl. So um, seeing her in her sleepwear makes some flirty. I don't know why I chose that trade for her. But here we are. Um, I want to Araminta, though, to... Oh, Tons is here. I was going to have her make cake. That's who she's flirting with is her husband. Duh, I think. But come in here and talk to your man. You have not seen him in a few days. And for you, we know that's everything. She's like, I'll give you some space, mom and dad. Oh, so cute. I'm going to miss both of them so much. <laughs> so sad. Um, I'm going to leave them to it. I was going to have Araminta be the one to cook the cakes, but she's busy. So I guess, Taylor, you have to make the cakes. Actually, where's the butler? I did give the butler a makeover. I didn't forget that I wanted Cherry to, you know, get with the butler. He's over here. We can't like specifically tell him to make a cake though, but we can have him cook the meals for the party. I'll just have Taylor make the cake though. I'm excited though, cause we get to see all the family and this is gonna be Araminta's last time around like her grandchildren. Oh, it's so sad. It is so sad. Cherry's feeling really sad still off of losing her aunt, her fiance. Like she's just still really sad. I'm hoping this episode we can like get her out of the funk. I also gave her makeover um, because now she's a politician. So she dresses very politician like, but yet she's still not fulfilled. Poor thing. Oh, she's coming in here to cry and her butler's here. I gave the butler a makeover. I didn't want to change how he looked too much because obviously Cherry found him attractive the way he was. So I just gave him a skin detail Gave him a different hair, but it like in the same color because obviously, like I said, she finds him attractive. So yeah, what what is this? How to serve and not be served? A book about like four butlers. I never even knew like the book that they were reading was a butler book. Maybe we can go over here and ask him for some advice. Um, his name is Yusuke Nakagawa, and he's like so butler like. I wonder if she he finds her attractive as well. Well, either way, 
He is really flirty. She's probably like Yusuke. I am just so sad. And he's kind of, I'm imagining like her air and her shoulder to lean on. I completely forgot we're supposed to be working from home. Visit Uptown and get to know a sim you haven't met. Are we, do we live in Uptown? I don't know. And we need to secure someone's vote. I mean, that's easy to do. Oh, we must live in Uptown because I just clicked get to know on um, Yasuke and it ticked off as one. So we can just do that at our party. So we don't even have to travel anywhere and we can secure votes from our family members at the party. So that's exciting, but I'm glad they are getting closer. And Cherry, I think, is very hungry, but we need to ask him to make things for the house. It's kind of going to be awkward because, of course, they're going to have like a romantic relationship, but he's also her butler. So, yeah. Um, But can you cook a party meal, please? Like, please and thank you. Like, I would really appreciate it. Oh, and he came to sit closer to her. Y'all, I think he does like her. Ugh, the bell is so like I hate the bell I hate the bell but please can you cook us something for the party all right Sunny you're eating oh if you're wondering why Sunny's not going to school it's not like she doesn't go it's just it's summer so it's her summer break I was thinking when she starts school next week in the fall we are going to make her just like a teen and take away her preteen trait um, I think that would give her enough time as a teen. I know the party's gonna start soon, but take a nap because I don't need you to be annoying. All right, Miss Sad, can you uh, cry it out a few times? I'm like really trying to get rid of the sad moodlet. It went away for Aramenta, just not her. Um, and then can you call the sadness hotline? How long do we have? Three days? That's such a long time. Hopefully the party puts her in a better mood. I don't know. This one is over here dancing. Araminta's in the hot tub. This is the first time somebody used the hot tub. Thank you, Araminta. She was like, I'm getting out though to listen to some music. I love her. I'm gonna miss her so much. So, so much. It's like scary at this point. Oh, he is cooking. I was gonna say, can he please cook? He is, how sweet. I mean, eggs and toast will not be a good meal at the party, but since you're hungry, how about you just eat this? I mean, he does look much cuter with his makeover. I don't like his teeth, though. Did I not change his teeth? I don't know. Something about him is throwing me off, but he's not bad. Oh, and he made faux bacon wrapped asparagus. Perfect. Let's start the party. All right, we're going. Yeah, he does have sharp teeth. Ew. I don't like that. I'll change it. Yeah, do one more party meal, and then we'll have you, like, make bar drinks for people. You seriously need a new party outfit, Taylor. You're about to be an adult. But Cherry, oh my goodness, you look so cute. Like a little politician. Oh my goodness, you all. She's going to be an adult. She's going to be old. Of course, Sunny's upstairs napping. She's like, I don't want to deal with no one at that party, even though it's all family coming. Let's get her up. I want you to take a picture with your grandma because this is like your grandma's last few days. Oh, I also got her posters at the Geek Con. So let me put those up. I mean, they're like more red, but they're still cute. All right, and now let's take a picture with your grandma slash mom. Still so awkward. All right, what did you make? What is this? Tofu chicken. That's fine. Aw, taking a picture with grandma. You all, I'm not ready for this. I am not ready for this. Who is this? Oh, Elias aged up. He looks so angry, but this is Hisashi's youngest son. So this is Aramensa's grandson, and you don't even know him. I'm glad Taylor and Sunny are getting along. I really only invited family. I'm trying to see if there's anyone up here. It seems like they're all going downstairs. Oh yeah, they are all down here dancing. We got Rowan here. Aw, talking with his sister. We need to get to know people. We can't forget to do this. So let's start talking with our family. Aw, Sashi is here. He looks so cute. I'm glad you like the food. Aw, little brother. Oh, 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 I need to add. I need to add the preteen trait to Mora. She aged up and look how cute she is. I think this is going to be Sunny's closest friend when her mom passes away, Araminta. Thanks. Give you the preteen trait. Why are you calling me? Look how cute she is. Now she's a preteen. So, yeah. But she's so cute. 
Is Elias a teenager too? Or Orson? Orson, are you a preteen? You need to be a preteen. I did not give him a makeover because I did not know they aged up. I wanted them to take pictures with their grandma though. Oh, so cute that they're getting in the hot tub. Um, I think I might give Orson and Elias a makeover now because I wanted Araminta to get pictures with like every single body in her life that's important and her grandsons are important to her um, because she does think of Hisashi as her son. So yeah, let me give them a quick makeover and then we get to return to the party. All right, we gave makeovers to the boys. I think I did. Where are they? All right, I found Elias. He said eating some chicken, well, faux chicken, but he's cute. I gave him his birthmark back. I couldn't remember if he had black or blonde hair, but I just gave him blonde. Um, and then here's little Orson. I feel like Orson is such a cutie. Look at Araminta being a little creep behind him, but he is so cute. Don't let his cute looks fool you because his aspiration is like the drug aspiration. He just wants to do a whole bunch of drugs, but he's also an art lover. And then he also has the clubber as like trait. So yeah. Um, oh, you didn't convince Rowan. Are you kidding me? But I'm going to have Aramon to take pictures with like all of her family. I think it's a great time to reminisce about like her family and just like where she's come. It's like so sweet, but this is her niece Primrose who she loves her youngest niece. I think she loves Primrose because Primrose looks just like her mom. Aw, her daughter's next. I feel like we fell off with Scarlet because we moved Terry out to university, but Scarlet is actually an artist, which I wouldn't have given her that job, but that's just like what MCC gave her. So we're gonna keep it. Um, Maybe she did have like a secret love for being creative, but she was always really smart, just like her mom. Even though she didn't birth Hisashi, Hisashi is still her son. Oh, so cute. Orson just looks just like his dad. That's crazy. I don't know why it's so bright in here, but Orson is so cute. Oh, I hate when it does that. Like I want to get a picture with her and Haven, her first grandbaby. All right, that one worked a little better. Still remember Haven being a little, little tiny baby. All right, the last photo I want Araminta to get is with her husband. And then we're going to age up Taylor and Cherry. Please work, because I don't even know what y'all doing. It's not going to work. No. Mm hmm mm hmm I mean, this is a cute picture of just, like, Araminta, but I'm still going to get a better one. All right, this is much better. Our mint Jen all old it's like really so sad i'm like so sad i know they're just pixels but it's still sad all right everyone time to age up cherry well maybe we should do yeah let's do cherry because it's late and i don't want her to think we forgot her birthday so let's blow out candles i mean if taylor feels like we forgot her birthday that's fine oh all the girlies are in the hot tub how cute cherry no more being a young adult. You are officially about to enter adulthood. Happy birthday, Cherry. Oh, she's so stunning. Aw, everyone wishing her a happy birthday is so cute. All right, she's officially an adult and it's the perfect time to start wrapping up the lifelong goals, which we have to do for this challenge anyway. All right, add birthday candles. It's your turn, Taylor. All right, Taylor. Aw, everyone's coming to say happy birthday to you too. Happy birthday, Taylor. All right, we finished. Oh, we learned Primrose is outgoing. We finished getting to know all the Sims in Uptown. Now we just need to secure a vote. All right, he seemed receptive. Okay, dad, would you vote for me? But definitely our dad. I feel like we have pictures with our mom, but not our dad. All right, dad, will you vote for us, please? Oh my, all right, Some I, is it because she's sad? Because why, how do you have level 10 charisma and everyone's saying like no to you? so annoying at this point dad i don't even want a picture with you but i guess all right who else is here i don't think i asked you desiree all right still let's get this picture oh she looks nothing like her father nothing like her dad oh it's 100 percent her mom but she still loves her father even though he's not voting for us all right cousin will you vote for us what's this you want to ask for a bribe i'll pin that and you want to get to know your mom some more how cute <gasps> no! 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 
No. The music just makes it so much worse. I don't even want to do this. I'm really avoiding this. Okay, right now is not the time to secure the vote. And that's why, anyway, she didn't want to vote for you because she's like, um, Cherry, time right now, is read the room. Okay, your mom is dead. Oh my goodness, of course Orson is smoking a vape. Right now is not a joyous time. I don't even want to. Oh my goodness, Araminta, this is so sad. Her son is here. Orson is just literally dancing on her body. I can't, all of them are here. Oh, why did it just, where, where are we? There's no way. There's no way. I'm like, why is the camera shooting upstairs? Why? <laughs> why is he dying the same exact time as her? Why? What kind of poetic nonsense is this? Like, why are you doing this to me? At the party? Is anyone even upstairs noticing that Tans is dying too? Like, this sums up the freaking challenge that like Tans is just left up here with no one even... I can't do this. Is it bad that I want them to come up here and witness his death? Like, okay, some people are gathering now. Okay, I was gonna say, please give respect to Tanza as well. Oh my goodness, everyone's at the party like, did he just, did he just die? I feel like him and Jamie were friends because Jamie was their neighbor. I am unbelievably sad. Oh my goodness, it's just so sad. Okay, okay, no. All right, we're gonna end the episode off here because honestly, I'm just as sad as Sherry and I'm too sad to continue playing. Um, I thought we were gonna lose Araminta at the end of the episode, meaning I was gonna play like my normal three days that I play. We were gonna get things done, but she died right at the beginning at the party. I, I'm pretty sure I have enough footage to do an episode, but I am so sad. I am so so sad to have lost Araminta and Tanta at the same time at Terry's birthday. And now she has to go into adulthood by herself. She has Rowan to take care of her, her younger brother. She has her daughter and she's just, she's going through a lot. Next episode though, we'll pick back up with, hopefully I'll play some days off camera because I don't want her to be too sad for too long. Like literally she's been sad for the longest time. Um, so hopefully next episode, she will no longer have her um, sad moodlets. I want to play some days into the future so I can do some things with um, Terry's career off camera. So next episode, we should be on level nine of the career. That's my goal. And then we'll have one more. I technically only want to play maybe two or three more episodes of this generation because I really want to move on to Sunny's. Um, but yeah, really sad episode. We lost our mint gen and hopefully you enjoyed the slideshow that I'm going to do for her. And yeah. <laughs>
Thank you.